Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Well, we're into Wednesday now, 08 15 07, and it has been exciting. We have stayed below the 200 day moving average in the September SP um, daily chart. Now, the September, now the cash market starting to head down towards its 200 day moving average, as well as the Dow futures, or I should say the Dow cash, is heading down towards the 200 day moving average. It's going to get really interesting if those two get below that 200 day mover and hold. I'll show you that in the chart in a few moments. Got a couple of charts to talk about. We have a couple of markets here that uh, are counter trending against the S&P. So we'll take a look at those. One being bonds, another being natural gas. Natural gas actually has a fundamental behind it as well as technicals. Bonds seem to be going into a flight to quality versus the S&P getting knocked down. A couple of other technical indicators there to give me a bond buy. So we have buy bonds, green omni for bonds. Go bonds, let's go. 30-year bonds, that is. We got a red omni for S&P and a red omni for NASDAQ. NASDAQ and S&P down. Bonds up. Most likely natural gas up. And then we also have to follow up on the coffee trade that I've been showing you guys for the last few days. So let's head towards the technical portion of our show. Let's go look at those charts and I'll come right back to you. Okay, traders, S&P September daily bar chart. As you know, I've been mentioning this 200-day moving average for quite some time. And if we get below it for three consecutive days and stay below it, we have a bear in the making. Well, we have done that one, two, three, now four days below the 200-day moving average, as well as we're riding this resistance line straight down. And another wild card. Triple bottom. Triple bottoms are always taken out. Triple tops are always taken out. You're a buyer of triple tops. You're a seller of triple bottoms. But look what we did. We came through the triple bottom, made a low, and settled below that low. Another reason to think we have more downside coming in this S&P. Keep an eye peeled on that. Our Omni set up to take us lower tomorrow. We're hoping for a rally first to get in at a nice level where we can short it. But rest assured, technical analysis tells us you need to be a seller of rallies in the S&P futures at this point in time. Another more broad-based look at the S&P, or I should say the Dow Cash. And in, in, in this example, this is the Dow Cash daily chart. We are now beginning to head down towards the 200-day moving average. We have stayed within this channel, and it just keeps coming down lower and lower as the market's beginning to drift. Also staying within that resistance line here. You see it hitting the resistance over and over again and bouncing down from it. Here comes the 200-day moving average now, plus we've taken out major resistance which is now resistance, I should say, we've taken out major support, which has turned into a resistance level. And there we go. So now this market is heading down, and is heading down towards this average. If we get to the average and drop below that for three days, oh my goodness, do we got some problems on the downside in the stock market. For now, we're heading down to test that level. That level's around 12,820. Let's look and see what happens when and if we get there. I think we will make an attempt for that level and at least get that low. Markets are beginning to put very strong signals in at how it wants to go lower and lower here. At least it wants to work lower for now and shake out some of the weak hands and take out some of these funds that are not hedged properly to be in this market. Keep your eyes peeled on the S&P, on the Dow, on the Dow Futures on the NASDAQ, on the Russell, the whole spectrum are all pulling down at once. Interestingly enough, in the September 30-year T-Bond daily futures chart, we have almost the opposite thing taking place. We are now hovering on this support line. The market keeps hitting it and bouncing off. We held major support earlier during the last couple of weeks. Stochastics would have you believe that this market has hooked here and wants to go higher. 
Now we are looking to run into the 200-day moving average, which is above the market in bonds. We have a triple top up there. Triple tops are supposed to be purchased. We have an omni trade set up to take advantage of that. We expect bonds to go flight to quality and have a run towards the upside. You do have CPI coming out this morning. You have to be very careful about that. CPI could turn us around. The stars do not say it. The charts do not say it. The technical indications do not say it. I'm expecting bonds to do this. Take a look at the Omni today and get your orders in to buy bonds. Okay, traders, I've showed you a coffee chart for the last few days. I had mentioned that coffee had something interesting going on. Again, 200-day moving average offering major resistance. We turned around and made a mirror image formation right here. We tell you that the mirror image is good for at least two days, settling higher into the direction of the mirror image. The mirror image turned out to be a bullish trade. We went up for two days, turned around today, and settled below the 200-day moving average. Below the 200-day moving average. That tells me, and looking at technical indicators, that the coffee has failed. The mirror image worked perfectly. It gave us two bull days after the mirror was formed, but we could not settle for three days above the 200-day mover. We only got two days. Now the market's looking to head lower. Coffee should be a sale looking at this picture. Keep your eyes on the coffee market for a downspurt, possibly as low as 113 to 112. Let's see what we get in the September contract once we get down there. Here's a chart I had mentioned but have not issued an Omni on. It is the natural gas. Natural gas is holding support lines very well here. Starting to work in this steep channel on the way up. You have this huge storm depression working in the Gulf. You guys know what I'm talking about if you're following the weather. Plus we have the 200 day mover. This is a market that does begin to move higher. It is the September natural gas daily bar. It begins to move higher as the summer winds down and we get into the winter, mo winter months. They start hedging and buying the natural gas now. The price of natural gas is relatively inexpensive compared to what it will be in the winter. Looking in the 6 to 7 level right now, natural gas is looking like a buy here. Looks like it will try to run higher. You have fundamental reasons being the storm and tactical reasons telling you that natural gas is likely a buy. Take a look at the natural gas for you energy traders and tell me what you think. Do your own analysis and come back to me on that. September natural gas looking like a buy to me. Okay, traders, so you've seen the analysis. You, you have a brief look into what I am looking at and what Omni's looking at to take these markets both lower and higher depending upon which market you're in. Indices lower, bonds higher, likely natural gas higher and coffee lower based on the technical analysis I've shown you. Before we go any further, let me just give a quick shout out to my Asian Omniacs. Thank you so much for paying attention in Asia. Yeah. Also from Spain, I'm the ex from Spain. Thank you very much. A shout out to you Spaniards. Thank you, traders. Glenn, I'd like to say you are one of the most improved traders that has been in my premium trading room. Glenn, a shout out to you. Very good, Glenn. Your action has been fantastic. You have been a very good trader. You have been taking the trades. You've been getting in where you should. I've noticed that you're beginning to pull your stops down when you should. And that is fantastic, Glenn. I hope the lessons I'm teaching in my premium room are helping you to become a better trader. Also in the premium room, Joe Black, what a job today describing the mirror image for the traders in the premium room. I had a question from one of my traders in the premium room. Could you please tell me about the mirror image again? I'm not clear about it. I said for you guys in the room, who'd like to step up to the plate and explain it for me and I will reenact your explanations on my desktop for the traders to see. And Joe Black stepped up to the plate. Let me tell you something, Joe. You had that mirror image nailed. Very nice, Joe. Very, very nice. I am so proud of you traders in my premium room. Let me tell you something. At my site, www.livewithoscar.com, we've had a lot of traders beginning to join us in the premium room. And I'd like to offer something for you traders that have not gotten involved yet. If you come to my site 
and begin a gold membership for this month. I am going to offer all the gold members who sign up this week a free week in my premium room starting on Monday next week. There's a couple of days left of this week, so come to the site, begin a gold membership, and I'll grandfather you into my premium trading room all next week. You traders, you gold traders who have tried this a couple of weeks ago, back by popular demand, I've had a lot of people ask for it. So you know what, I'll give you another look at what we can do. You think the analysis I show you in this video is anything? Let me tell you something, traders, this is my 101 compared to the analysis and the techniques I have amassed in my 25, almost 26 years of trading in these markets now. And I share that with all my traders in the premium room and I give them what I can. And again, what I showed you on these charts behind me, that is more 101 analysis compared to what I am offering in that premium room. So get your butts in there and learn how to do this because it is not easy. You guys need to learn how to trade. You need to learn how to look at the markets correctly. There's so many lessons about technical analysis that, you, that traders need to know, and I can help you get there. So come on down to the Omni Trading Academy while there are still slots open and join our premium room. All right, traders, let's get to the Omnis right now, and then we'll wrap up this video because I want to jump in these markets. So let's go right off the bat. S&P ESU7 for the mini SPU7 for the large. Um, this resistance, the mid to high 1440s. We're expecting the market to rally a bit from where we are right now. We're at 1430 and a half currently. If we get into the mid to high 1440s, we're going to kick out some S&P up there. For you traders that are not gold members, figure out where your stop should be. Put a stop in that makes sense. Volatility alert for tomorrow. You are going to need stops like this to get away from getting tagged. So be careful, place your stops in a sensible place. For my gold membership, you know where the stop's going to be. Go take a look at the Omni and go look at your email. Back to the trade. 1440s, the high 14, mid to high 1440s, we're going to sell. Omni's profit objective is the 1400, somewhere between 1420 and 1400. We are going to take profit, likely in the low 1400s is where we'll be looking for our profit zone. Or be out MOC again, sell them in the high 1440s, buy them back as we approach 1400. Markets willing, should be a nice trade for tomorrow. All right, next up on the slot, we got the NASDAQ, the ENU7 Mini NQU7 Large. On these resistance, the low to mid 1930s. Looking for a rally there as well. We get a rally, something good to short into. We will short the NASDAQ on a rally into the 1930s. Omni's profit objective on that trade, the low to mid 1870s. Woo hoo! Low to mid 1870s. If we could sell them out in the 1930s, and if I remember right, there was a support level as you get into the mid 1890s. So keep an eye on that. Actually, the low 1890s, like around 1892, we will find some support. Get yourself short as we rally. Keep your stops up away from the action and look to take them back around 1870 in the 1870s or be out MOC. All right. Next, likely is the flight to quality in bonds will come up next. 30 year T bond ZBU7. You seen the analysis on that? Take a look at getting yourself long. The support now, support on the downside in the bonds of the low to mid 10920s. Take a look at your analysis. See where you'd like to buy it. Somewhere in the 10920s, we're going to buy some bonds tomorrow. Omni's profit objective on this trade is a one to do to two day trade. We're looking to possibly be out by Friday, and we're looking to get out somewhere in the 111 teens. Big trade if we can get it. 111 teens. Buy them in the 10920s. Look for two days to get up above 111. 10, somewhere above 111.10, we're looking to get out of this trade. That's the next one to two trading sessions. The bonds look good here. S&P does not look very good. Neither does the NASDAQ. Take a look at your homework. As I say in every video, always do your own homework. Check your work against mine. Make sure that the both agree with one another if you're going to take one of my trades. Okay. I mention my premium room all the time because to me, we call it the Omni Pit. It feels like I'm in a pit when I'm in there. 
There's lots of trading going on. There's lots of interaction. It's been really exciting in there. And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to get a lot of good trades off in that room. So you guys, make sure you're up early. Get yourselves in that room. And let's get ready to rumble. All right. You know we're here to help you traders bridge the gap. I say this all the time to you. It is so true. You know, that there, were, there was a time when you could call the trading floors and you can call the desk and you can get an expert on the phone and he knew what reports were coming out and what time they were coming out and how they should affect the markets and what the locals are doing versus the banks. That information now comes across the wire, but there's no one disseminating it for you any longer. You have to figure out how to do that for yourselves. And let me tell you something, traders, and I've proved this video after video all of that fundamental news comes out in the technicals. If you can come to the, to the Omni Trading Academy and you can teach, you can learn with us how to call that for yourself, you will see those reports materialize a day or two before the report ever comes out within the analysis. I promise you traders, that's the way it works. We do it here all the time. Hey, if you've come across my YouTube videos but don't know how you found them, Kindly go to my spot, www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts and subscribe to the videos right there. We have 180, 184 videos out there for you to see. There are lessons like this plus more in every one of those videos. So go take a look at the videos. I'm sure they will convince you to come around to our Omni Trading Academy and check us out. We are pretty good at what we do there. If you'd like, give me a phone call anytime, day or night, 718-351-2266. Please go to the site and go to our forum rooms. Leave questions in the forums. Interact with the other traders. And, of course, hit the feedback button on the home page in the left column. There is a feedback button. Click that button and leave us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you traders. The more feedback we get from you, the more we can improve our Omni Trading Academy. If you'd like, shoot me out emails anytime. Oscar at futuresanalysts.com. I think I've pretty much said everything we need to cover in this video. Are we good, Mike? We're good. We're good. All right, traders, don't forget to stay calm while these markets whip around. Look, markets are nothing but mathematical calculations going up and down. It's got nothing to do with the delivery. It's got nothing to do with the product any longer. There is so much information flying around in this world about these markets that they have become purely just markets that move up and down. It doesn't matter if you're in S&Ps, bonds, grains, meats, or metals. They're all the same. They're just markets, and look at them that way. Do not count your money until you're out of a trade. It's like playing cards and counting your money before you've, before you've cashed in your chips. You know what happens to traders when they count their money first. It's the same thing in this industry. Don't count your chips first. All right, traders, have a great day trading. I hope everyone has a winning trade every time they trade. And if not, don't forget, stops are in, emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.